I want to make the most of the time we have left together. Yesterday I showed you that flash animation and the part I didn't say was, and if you think I suck, if you all agree, you don't have to listen to me the rest of the year. I gambled my job. You know, my family was dependent on me. So when I went home, I knew that I had to come through and I played to my strengths. I'm good at typography. And I learned a little piece of flash in order to animate that in a way that hopefully would inspire. Look, the same thing holds true here. This was generated from a student app. I took this, I cropped it, I worked it through Photoshop, Photoshop, and I took it through um, five different iterations. This, and if you do this and right click and say open image a new tab, and it opens up in a new tab, and then you click on it, you get to zoom in on it and see, you know, whoa, there's some cool stuff here, huh? Look around. All of this came out of that. I share everything with my students. I want to work with you. Look, that first year when I was just starting out teaching and I made that flash animation and then the kids and I started working together, I started in January, January 20th, I think it was, 22nd, whatever it was. But in March, we had a workshop for the multimedia teachers. And the director of technology said, Mike, he called me up the day before, and we had Russell Brown coming. Russell Brown, if you look him up, he's Adobe's mad scientist. He's utterly amazing. And he couldn't make it. And um, he had to go to Hawaii to cover for someone who got sick. And Don said, uh, so I got, oh God, who's the guy that wrote the Photoshop Wild Books? Well, anyway, he got this other guy who lives up in Encinitas who had sold the only Photoshop books at the time that had sold over a million copies. And I said, that's fantastic. And he said, he can't make it either. I went, man, what are we going to do? And he said, Will you lead the workshop? I had, what, two and a half months in on the job, and I'm supposed to lead a workshop for all the multimedia teachers in the district? Anyway, I, I started thinking about it and says, I get to sit in for Russell Brown and uh, Davis. Dan Davis? Dan Davis. Some. Anyway, uh, I, it was one of those things where for the rest of my life, I can brag and said I did this. So I did it. And in the back of the room was one of the district technology experts. And he sat there the whole time. And at the end, when the day was over, he came up to me and he said, this company in San Jose is looking for someone to teach Flash. <laughs> and I said, you know, I... I'd been at this a couple months. I had never used Flash in my life before the second week when I turned to it in desperation, you know, trying to get my class to follow me. And he said, yeah, well, this company's kind of desperate. They have booked sessions at Stanford and the University of Texas and South Carolina. Anyways, they, they had committed to all these workshops and they had a Flash god who could do anything with Flash, except teach it. Long story short, I worked for that company for seven years before I told them I didn't want to do it anymore. I wanted to focus on my classroom. And um, yeah, I got to teach at Stanford and, and the University of Texas and you know, all over the United States. And it was an amazing experience. And I learned a lot. But the fact is, I do things different than virtually every other teacher. 
And if you want to learn, if you really want to work, I'll work with you. If you just want to waste your time and spin your wheels, you know, I will put up with you. You know, you're a high school kid. You're stupid and I was stupid in high school. Excuse me. You're not stupid. You're um, young and impetuous. How's that? You don't know what you're missing. For those of you who want to do something amazing, I want to work with you. And I can't wait till next year. But for right now, we need to finish this quarter strong. I want to work with you. It's up to you what you want to do. All right. It's Friday. Do something to make the world a better place this weekend and think about your future, whether or not you want to ever come back to digital arts again. Because I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to working with kids who want to work. See ya.